also I think I picked up on an energy where somebody may like be someone's offering a business opportunity the one we just saw to make money illegally you know and they visitor visitor where visitor where yeah Th this new venture this new opportunity this new door this new thing that's coming to visit you it will not be successful we have seven and seven here we have another five here so five 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 there is a tower moment here we're going to we're going to call it that extreme change <music> golden empress collection here i am so glad that you guys are back with us rocking uh, tarot we're just going to take a look at um april 2020 let's see what sign wants to come out and that's what we're going to do okay what energy who needs a message ah justice libra libra you need a message What do we have for love? Thank you, you guys. If you know, we are a growing channel, by the way. And if you are new, welcome. If you have been here before, thanks for subscribing. And anyone else, please hit that subscribe button. We are coming together as a family and becoming a tribe. Okay, my guides, um, very particular. I have a wide variety of guides, by the way. A wide variety. And I also speak with yours, I speak with your ancestors. Um, and any individual that, you know, would like just a, a message from Ancestor, please feel free to reach out to me on Etsy.com. It's G-E-C Empress Collection. All right. Ooh, wait. I'm, I don't, you know, I don't even have that deck of cards, but I'm being shown a card that says Sticky Wicket. I don't know why. I don't even have that deck, but I know that deck. Sticky Wicket. We're in a situation. Eight of Wands. Uh -huh. And it's almost like saying, whatchamacallit, it's funny. Two of Wands, so fire energy here, Libra. Where are you going? Are you going somewhere? Libra, what are you doing? Nine of coins. That's single. That's prosperity. That's being on your own, celebrating an abundance of your own, being a very wise individual, someone who knows how to uh, market, shares, profits, ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is friendship. This is possibly a new love. Okay, new love opportunity, someone who's happy, someone who um, their cup is overflowing. I do have an energy of two here. I think there may be someone else. All right, so your other person, Knight of Wands. Thank you. Your other person is the Knight of Wands. Five of Cups, someone that's in regret. We do have a lot of fire energy here. You two could be mirroring each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine of cups. <sighs> I'm just taking a deep breath because this is an energy that has been around for a while. In this deck, you will notice this is, yeah, it's the card itself inside of the card. And on the outside of the card, it is someone who is manifesting to get what they want. See? Love spells, apples, cleansing, looking into the future. Someone who's a seer. Libra. Your other person may even be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Someone who is releasing their burdens and starting a whole new cycle. Yeah, there's deception here with the moon card. 
So Libra, what I'm picking up on is, I mean, you're moving pretty quickly towards something that you want, something that you're planning um, and being single. I think your other person, this player energy is some, pardon me, that they regret. See, someone doesn't want me to talk. Something that they regret. And there is, there's a battle brewing. The outcome is that they are actually going to release. Now, I say that with this energy being on the bottom of the deck. So, your person at this new moon energy is not only reaping what they sow because Saturn has gone into Aquarius, but. They are going through Dark Night of Soul. And it's very scary for them. I mean, seriously, could you imagine? I mean, and this is not their energy. This is them being chased by this energy, is what I just heard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, King of Swords. So there's a happy outcome here. I really want you guys to see these cards. I think I may change the way we got our layout. But you guys will be the only ones I know that. I'm not going to repeat that to anybody else. <laughs> All right, Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have Five of Pentacles. Someone who's sitting outside. Door's open, though. There's a happiness here. What is this happiness? The ending of the cycle. So, um, I just, basically, I see a conversation coming in. You know, I think, Libra, you're moving pretty quickly. Your other person is just in regrets. And they're going to come in, and the conversation is, it is what it is. It's just going to be truthful, I hope. Um, I don't think things are going to be changing anytime soon. Um, I think in the past, you're both wanting to communicate with one another, but for some reason, I feel like you're not. I feel like it's a plan that's still in the work, and this person is just like, what is going on? Oh, okay, so kind of like a ghosting situation. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. That's going to resonate. Um, you pretty much, Libra, consider yourself to be a single person. You know, abundant on your own. Able to manage and do everything that you need to do without the assistance of anybody else. So, this is not a karmic cycle I'm hearing. This is more of somebody releasing the burdens that they were carrying is actually a blessing here okay what's crazy is I feel like you both wanted union though you know you you were working on it you were planning on coming together but for some reason there's some sort of defense there's an ending that has to happen first I'm hearing this is something about control control you know, being left out in the cold. Yeah. Oh. This is, this is, oh wow. So we just talked about Saturn. Um, this is definitely a controlling energy. Here's the emperor. Somebody looking for more information, communication that will be coming in. There's a truthful communication coming in. Could even be a legal matter of some sort. Someone that dealt with legal issues in the past. Libra, you might have some issues that you're holding on to that um, kind of throw issues into this situation. It's, it's just what I'm picking up on. It's just the energy. Um... You have communication coming in with this King of Swords. Birds represent communication. 
flowing energy. Um, I will look this up later and I'll be more knowledgeable next time we have this card, but this dove, it's not a dove. This bird has a split tail. I know that's a specific bird, but I don't have my other um, computer right now, so, or my phone. So that's a, a message for you at some point. <laughs> I'm trying to see, tell me about this King of Swords. What's this conversation coming in? Mm -hmm. Definitely something ending. All right, temperance. This is the ability to blend things together. Yes, documentation, paperwork. Um, this is, yeah, a Sagittarius energy as well. Being able to control and communicate in an effective manner that is not immature, okay, about blending of a situation, masculine and feminine. This is also about, re not necessarily reunion, but it's, okay, so the orchids, you have the purple and the yellow orchids. I want you to look that one up too. Um, that's going to be a meaning for you and significance. Oh, man, I wish I had my phone. All right. Seven of Wands. But the, the orchids are about birth. You know, new beginning. Seeing it a certain way. Age-old energy that moves very quickly. You know? And it's, it's like constant change is what I'm hearing. You know, you could be feeling this way about this person one way one day and then the next day this would be completely different so it's like someone that's in your life consistently but somebody libra where you feel like you need to tell them that you can take care of yourself and just them being within your family unit like really just stresses you out yeah the communication about love and, and walking away. And we did talk about ghosting. Okay. Um, we also saw that Nine of Cups. So I want you to pay attention to whatever it is that someone is actually manifesting. You know, what is that person's Nine of Cups? Because apparently they're not getting it right now. And I don't think that you're getting it. In the standard right away deck, two of wands could mean that there's going to be a feminine who is disappointed. This is a feminine here. You know, house, home, things have happened in the past. You know, and actually what I'm picking up on, Somebody just, I don't know, they just want to walk away from whatever it is that they're trying to manifest. I think they might be fed up. They're releasing their burdens and allowing this cycle, this generational potential cycle to go. Because your other person could be dr bringing in drama, like vampire energy. You know, and I'll tell you what, Libra, this could be you doing it to your other person. You could be sending out some really vampiric energy where I can take care of myself. I don't need you in my life. You know, I'm happy by myself. I'm going to get my own. And this person, I don't know. I think you both truly want to work it out, though. I mean, that's the end result. In that, or you have two people here. You know, this could be a legal matter. Um, this could be courts. You know, this could be an Aquarius. Um, yeah, your own energy as well, right? Coming together. You're, you're going to blend the situation perfectly. This is your own energy. Controlling the situation. Being the father, you know. An offer of love. 
that has to be walked away from. That's so interesting. But the regret that sits behind it. You guys, wow. All right, so I, I want to see what else is here. I want to see what you're not saying, what they're not saying, and what you guys both don't see. I also want to see if there's any further blocks. Um, there's also going to be a healing path forward. Okay, Aquarius? I'll see you guys over on the extended for Vimeo. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace and elbow grease.